Hello campers. I was going to show you the, uh, this is the outside light Winnebago gave us. And um, it works good enough to get in and out. Notice a nice orange light on the steps to help you see with your feet. But uh, it doesn't work so good when you got your awning out and a patio carpet and you're hanging around with friends and family. Let me show you. Thought I had a flap there. So it gives some light, but it's it's not a whole lot of light. Most of these electric awnings, the first ones I saw, they came with a nice uh, LED strip on them. But uh, when I got this one, no light. So guess what my next project is? That's right. We're going to put an LED strip up there. So come along, and you see how see how I go about it. I'm going to wire it to this light here. So when I turn on the outside light, the LED strip will light up. Our lights for our uh, motorhome. LED awning project came in and the replacement for the uh, uh, porch light for the motorhome came in. Now this one is made by Groat which is a main name brand. I don't think the internet really said what brand it was when I bought it but it looks like the right thing. It uh, uh, has no switch because we have a wall switch and that's fine. The uh, it uses an incandescent bulb, so I'm going to have to uh, get a a uh, LED bulb to fix that. I think I can pick one of those up at uh, my auto parts store, maybe. So anyway, I've uh, turned it on and uh, checked it out to make sure that there's not any any segments missing. Uh, not missing, not lit, not lit. and uh, you want to do that before you go to any trouble of stringing this thing up because the last thing you want to do is spend a couple hours mounting this thing on the side of your RV and hit the switch and either all of it doesn't work or a segment and have to take it all down again so uh, uh, I've learned that the hard way. Alright, let's get to it. Okay so uh, I measured between the uh, those arms that support my awning the distance between that arm and this arm is 16 feet 9 inches well I have 16 feet 2 inches so that should fit in there real nice now, when you put in, uh, uh, well, any kind of light, one of the first things you need to uh, think about is um, it's one thing to consider, uh, where are you going to source your power from? Well, seeing as this is an outside light, I'd like to source it from that, that light right there, that porch light. So when I turn on that porch light, all the outside lights come on. So, uh, so that's where I want to do it. Now, I'm, now I could stretch my lights and I could run a wire over and come in the back of that fixture. But that'd look kind of hokey being st uh, stuck to the outside of the, the motorhome. It'd work. Of course, it'd be out there in the wind and the rain as you're driving down the highway. So it'd probably pull loose every so often. So I'd like to tuck them inside if I could. So um, if the end of my light strip is going to be here, well, it'll be kind of a pain to 
drill a hole in there, put the wires inside the motorhome and stretch them all the way back here and then run them down again. Now remember I was showing you those little copper spots? Well, like I said, if you want to trim that light, you can uh, uh, solder on some more source lights. Well, you can also take a pair of scissors and cut off the wires that are connected to the end and you can go ahead and source your power anywhere along that strip, any of those copper strips, and that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to source it right, right about here. Now I notice on this motorhome, see here, you got a nice, a nice flat piece right there, and that's what I'm going to do. That's where I'm going to mount it. I'm not going to mount it on the fiberglass side. I'm going to mount it right there. Now the trick is, that's 12 feet off the ground. <laughs> so it's going to be a bit of a stretch for me. So I'm not real sure how I'm going to manage this, but uh, let me uh, let's uh, take a look at what we got inside. I've been now this light. See, it's right there. So it's right in this area. Yeah, the middle of the light's right about there. Right about there is the middle of the light. Thereabouts. So, so we're probably going to want to punch my hole probably right about, in the, right about the bottom of this um, to come from the fixture. Then I'm going to have to run the wire up, up here and it's going to have to uh, punch another hole there. But I found... I walked off and left my ruler somewhere. I found that uh, the top here is three and a half inches. This is pretty close to the roof, the top of the awning. It's three and a half inches is the bottom of the awning. That, that piece of metal I was talking about. It's right about here somewhere, about three and a half inches down. So that's another concern we got. I guess I need to go up there and, and drill a hole, probably directly above this thing, and just punch it right through there. All right, let's get her. Let me get my ruler and, and go over it again to make sure. You know what they say, measure twice, three, four, five, six times. <laughs> so you only have to drill once. So you can see up here I got to two holes. The lower hole is a factory hole for the porch light. And I've routed a wire from there. And see my little hole at the top with the wire coming out? And uh, the wire at the top is what I'm going to solder to the uh, LED strip. So. Uh, what we need to know is the distance between that top hole and its forward awning arm. Alright, let's get up on the ladder and measure it. I guess I need to pull that awning out. Looks like so let's measure this thing. See, so here's my little hole. Let's see daylight. Is there a hole in my awning? Okay, anyway. Yeah, 39 inches. Better measure and try. Yeah, 39 would be fine. Pull the excess right there. See that? There you go. Okay, good. Alright. Let's hang that. And it just come undone. Come on, baby. Quit fooling around. Okay, put that in there. Okay, good. Okay, so you can you can 
take your nut off. But now I got a kink in the wire, so let's go ahead. Yeah. These, uh, throw that over there. Okay. Now one of these are going to have to be taller than the other. Oh wait, no they're not. Let's see if I'm going to put it right there. Look at this stuff. I don't know. Probably will be. As long as you got a little bit out. Just a little bit of copper comes out. That's all you need. Okay, now. Come here. Where are you? Where's my cup? Oh, there it is. Solder. Because once you heat this thing. There. See the, uh, the insulation? Rolls back. I don't know if I even need to twist that, do I? That's probably enough. You don't need much. All I need is a little bit of solder on there. I don't know if I even twisted that. It's all look pretty good. Okay. Yeah, that's. doing here is what's known as tinning. Just put a little solder on there. It could be a, that's, well, that's what we did on the board. We, oh you're tinning. If you're not in, once you did it, what are you, tinned? I don't know. There you go. No. You gotta heat it and hold it. Let the solder flow. Make sure both sides are covered real good. Good. Now, you have to know which wire is which. Now, one of these wires has white on it. So I'm gonna make that my positive. Okay. So the next step, I guess, is the cleaning this thing. There for that now. Okay, I'm all the way to that black thing. Looks like I got it on the side. Problem is, there's no way to mark it now. Just kind of. Oh, it's a bit of a stretch. You know. But, oops. Okay. Okay. Now where are we? Halfway? No. All right. Right about the edge of this window. I can reach that. Barely. I don't like leaning. I don't like being on ladders anyway. Yeah. You know what they mean when they say denatured alcohol? Okay, near the edge of this. They've added a smell to it. Claim them. Alcohol doesn't have any smell. 
naturally. I knew natural gas does not. Okay, so we're one more shot. Okay. I get so much alcohol on this rag. All right, that ought to do it. Straighten up, will you? There you go. All right, got that part. Now, where's the end? Is that here? Where's, yeah, this is right here. There we go. And then now, I'll see. Just stick it right like you have. It's not very straight, is it? would have worked better if I just stretched it out first. See? There we go. Now, let's go make sure it's not twisted. There we go. One wire, get out the way. Okay, now twist around like that. There we go. Get the way again. Boy, I can't hardly. I'm gonna want it up like there somewhere. And we can get something up here and oh. tape it and try not to fall off the ladder. There we go. See, I want those lights to start near this bracket so that it, it shines light over this doorway. Okay. Whoa. Come on, damn it, you ladder. Wiggle like that and it'll times it well usually mostly always it'll settle itself right, right there I guess except look we're kind of on a downward slope getting farther farther away from the the top up here. There we go. There we go. There, now you poke your head. myself in the head. That'll probably do. Put another piece up there in case I need one later. 
I don't think I'll need one. Okay, so here's our wire. And there's where we're going to go. Oh yeah, see one is going to be shorter. No, it's not. Because it's going to be straight up. Okay, now we need to recheck. Where's positives on it? You know, I could have put some red on there to help me see that. On top. Okay, so the white one goes on top. Okay. And what I'll do, see this is going to, this is going to be an exposed connection. And when I get it on there, when I get it up there, I'll just put a gob of clear RTV on it. Now what? See the solder gun didn't want to stretch that far. Okay. Find my little flat spots right there. Okay, so where is it? It's on top. Oh. Also it's gonna go this way. White didn't help me any. I can't see the the white spot. Do it and be happy. Gosh, I can't hardly. This damn ladder's in the way, though. Here's a, here's a trick. Ew, don't fall backwards. Like I liked it there. Okay, there's my white. Right there, okay. Remember, I was. I didn't think I need a piece of tape. Try not to burn the awning. Right there. Okay, another piece right there. It's not much. But this whole thing, if you do it right, it just you're gonna go. Psst, it's gonna be done. So you got hot solder. Oh yeah. Damn it! Well, our TV will fix that. Okay, so. It's just like driving, you know, you're trying to watch all these different people in different angles. Now you come back to the wire. Wait a minute, that's not it. Now this is the way I soldered the two together. I want to solder here, dumbass. my tape a little bit. Okay. Now this one, the the hot is to the rear. Okay, now. Where's which one's the white wire? So I'm giving myself a lot of grief. This stupid white wire. I think I'm going to want them to go like this and stay away from that awning. How am I going to do this? I think it wants to come in at an angle. You're hot, right? Yeah, plugged in. See how this thing turned black? So it quits moving around. Okay, so. It almost looks like it's white. Oh no, it's clear. Okay. I don't know what's going on there, but. There it is. Okay, so we... There, 
got that one. I really need to go up one more step. Great, this lost my shoe. Of course, I probably ought to put them on properly. Now what I'm going to do home here. I'm going to have to sit here and bleed till my wife comes home tonight. There it is. Alright now. So what to do is you melt the solder on the wire, get it liquid, then touch it to your Solid joint. Never put water on a solder joint. It'll you know, give you a cold joint and it'll break. Okay, now that looks like a good joint. Okay. So the next thing I want to do. Damn it. Sorry. Make a quick connection here, test this. I think I need to uh, get my meter and check these wires. Like I said, you can't cross wire these things. You'll, you'll blow up those diodes. There we go. Okay. I think the yellow one comes from the switch. There. Okay, so that's the hot. Yeah, get up here. Sort of. I actually didn't do a very good job on that. I need more wire. Like that. Teeth do a pretty good job of stripping wires, but you gotta watch it. You pull your front teeth right. Come on already, get on there. How difficult is this? There we go. One into the other. Yeah, they're all lit, okay. So I guess we're ready to put them up. Just got to stick it up there and, well, of course, this stuff has to come off. Did you want to do it right now or, you know, as I go up here, this, oh, there, oh, oh, I see. See there, see, look. Okay, so, there you go, ditch that.
Okay. Let me move up here a little farther. Oh, missed a step. <laughs> tell you, never tell you how much I hate ladders. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Another trick is you really should have nice clean hands when you do this. Let me go wash them. Okay, so. Where we want it. Say right about there. Okay. And just like that. Just like here. Now. Ouch. Now just pull it taut. like that. But, oh I see. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start from, from the water. Here it comes. I don't know where the wire is, it doesn't want to turn. The solder and all, I guess. See, I'm really touching the hell out of this adhesive backing. it up against there. Okay, there we go. Okay, you see I want it right up against the wall. Okay. Turn that. There we go. There we go. I can ditch this. The trick is put that down there where I can reach it from the ground. Okay. Now see right here we got a little a little crinkle. There we go. See? So once you get it, now see to the end of it where I'm holding it, hold it right up against the wall. And then when you press up, it'll go right where I want it, right? Right against the wall. Okay. All right. What's that? There's no light on the front. Those solder joints must have give way. Well, they're still in place, so Hopefully I can just hit him with a solder gun. Whatever. Now where's that tape? Okay. I want to be able to reach the tape. Which is right here. Okay. Now, there shouldn't be any stress where those wires are. The, uh... Ah, oh, damn it, I'm dumping actually too far away. There's nothing here to hold on to at all there, but this thing. Okay, so. There, there, now you. Whoops. One foot stepping on the other foot. No, 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 no. That's not the way it goes. Gotta turn it. There you go. 
put it right up against the wall. There we go. Oh, yeah. What's wrong with this? There's something wrong. It's not... There it goes. See, it wasn't sitting square. Sitting at an angle. Okay. See, now I'll come back here. you can do you can do it like this and if there's a bubble it'll push it okay so you bring it up here right up against the wall just so it easy and then bring your finger along it give it a couple strokes you have to seat that adhesive okay where are we yeah Come on. Oh, there we go. Now, just tape off. Get this off. Now, get right there. There we go. I'm covering that square hole. I don't know if that square hole's for anything. I need to get this job done for this camping trip we got next month. We went on a camp trip last month. No porch light or anything. God, it was dark where we were. A lot of RV parks, they have park lights, but this place did not. God, it's a beautiful campground. Piece of shit park, I tell you the truth. The North Coast, god damn, was it gorgeous. Well, well, we'll be going back there someday. Even though it is a piece of shit park. The lady who recently bought the place. Um, uh, no, she didn't buy the place. She got it from her old man. I think he he might have died. He's been there his whole life, you know. And like it happens, a lot of older people they let the place go. So she's trying to fix it up. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hello, Shade Tree RV home mechanics. Well, I got my awning LED strip light project complete. And what I wanted to do, I wanted to show you the results. So here, let me let you take a look. This is the uh, factory porch light with the uh, single incandescent lamp and this is the kind of lighting that this motorhome came with from the factory from Winnebago. Yeah, it lights up okay, but it's not the best. So, I upgraded a little bit. Now, here what you're seeing is the uh, factory porch light fixture with an LED bulb in it. Much better, I think. Less glare. Covers the area a lot better. And a lot less energy draw. But uh, let me show you the kicker. Dig that. Now that is plenty of light. In fact, I think if we were in a really crowd, crowded campground, with uh, another motor home right next to us real close that would actually be too much light and uh, I think that it would offend our neighbors and also 
we've been to campgrounds, state parks, national parks, places such as that, where we're just parked at just a perfect campsite with uh, like a meadow off of our awning where it would be nice to, to sit under the awning in our chairs as the uh, dusk is approaching and we still need a little bit of light to find our drinks but we still want to look out and see the the wildlife if there's any uh, roaming around so uh, let me show you what else I did That's right, I put on a dimmer. Uh, so, that's the end of this project, and now we'll move on to something else. All right, campers and RV shade tree mechanics, we'll see you down the trail.